I want to tell you about the hardest time in my life. How it all started from such a wretched environment and spiraled out of control. To the point where I no longer had any control over not just my life, but my body. I grew up in a home where family simply meant living together. My mother was cold and didn't like affection, and my father would beat us in order to discipline us. He had a rough life, and he always taught us to never let anyone walk all over you, even if that meant kicking their asses. So the people I looked up to tended to be violent and aggressive, because to me, they were strong and not to be messed with. So I grew up believing that I had to be the one people would be afraid of, but loved and respected, like a mob boss. But the woman version. That way, no one bigger could ever hurt me again. I guess because I spent my entire childhood walking on eggshells and constantly finding ways to defend myself, I felt like I had to be the biggest one, the scariest, the toughest. But it just got so out of hand. So in my early twenties, I started hanging out with gangsters and drug dealers. That was not a good idea. It didn't take long before I got addicted to substances like cocaine because subconsciously I was fighting a battle between being the biggest and baddest tough girl and just being myself. I was too scared of being nice because to me that meant being vulnerable. When I was high, I didn't feel that guilt, and it felt good to be mean. The first time I realized how violent I actually was was when I spotted this much smaller girl in a bar. All she did was just bump into me, but I took it as the perfect opportunity to show how much bigger and better I was. I grabbed her hair and just kept punching her in the face. When I realized she wasn't fighting back, I let her hair go, and she just looked at me with tears in her eyes, like, "Why did you do that?" And I just froze. It dawned on me that I was just beating her up for my own insecurities. I was hurting someone weaker than me just to prove a point that no one had challenged. Security kicked me out, and I stayed outside smoking, trying to calm down. I was racked with guilt. She came outside, and I walked up to her and told her that I was so sorry. I had to hold back tears. She was still in shock and just muttered, "It's okay," still with fear in her eyes as she backed away behind her friends. I was trying to process how I was feeling. I thought that this is what I wanted. She was so scared of me that she just accepted my apology, even though I attacked her so viciously. I hated it. It felt easier to be mean when people defended themselves. After that, I went deeper into my hole of drug abuse. I got into a relationship with a man who was narcissistic and abusive. He supplied drugs and alcohol to me. And so, as an addict, I felt like I could never leave him. One night, I was so drunk and high on pills that I could barely move. That night was something I'll never forget. I could barely make out anything that was happening, but all I remember was him on the phone, and then someone picking me up. I was in and out of consciousness in the backseat of a car driving on some dirt road. These men. That picked me up, put me on a bed, and then all raped me. Then they put money in my purse and had someone drive me home. I felt numb. I was devastated. I didn't have the will to live anymore. After that, my ex broke up with me because he didn't want to be with a drug addict. I cried, and cried, and cried. I didn't know what I would do without him. He had somehow made me believe that my life would be nothing without him, despite what he did to me. I was so depressed. I really didn't think I could continue anymore. But one day, I got a call from a theater school in a city not too far away. I had expressed desire to attend it the year before, but I really thought I wasn't good enough. My father put in a word with the principal because they knew each other well. And he thought it would be a good time to leave where I am and never look back. So I did. It was scary at first, but over time I realized that I can be exactly who I want to be and express myself with my art. Now I'm writing music, poetry, 
and performing for a theater company during the summer. And in the fall, I will be attending school for the second year, clean and sober. I met other artists, and I understood how being vulnerable with other people could be healing and beautiful. I thought my life was over, but it had actually just begun.